Hello, and welcome to our Q of A Year in Review. I'm Nate Casey. And I'm Caroline Chesler. Thank you for joining us. It's been an unusual year for schools around the world due to the pandemic, but we are here to report some of the good things that have been happening at Queen of Angels. Then the first bit of news comes in a way of saying thank you. This school year would not have been possible without the effort of many people. The first person we would like to thank is our new principal, Mrs. Fiedlack. She had the difficult task of leading us all through this challenging year. We are thankful that she's come to join us at Queen of Angels and are appreciative of all the plans she put into place to keep things running smoothly this year. We also need to thank our facilities and maintenance team. They put so much extra time and care into keeping our building safe this year. From keeping the classrooms clean and making sure we maintain social distancing in the classrooms, cafeteria, and hallways, they truly went above and beyond to keep us healthy. We could not have been in school all year if it weren't for their efforts. Our teachers and staff have worked tirelessly to provide high quality education while keeping us safe in the classroom. And the students also deserve a big thank you for our cooperation, flexibility, and perseverance throughout this unusual school year. Thank you to the families too. This year, we also saw changes in our staff at Queen of Angels. Many new teachers started, others changed grade levels. As we mentioned before, Mrs. Felix started as our new principal. Some of our classmates had the opportunity to interview these new hires and ask them about how their year went. You'll find some quotes from their interviews in our newsletter. Here is Miss Sarah Orner to introduce the new faces of our school. Thanks, name Mrs. Stuckey is our new first grade teacher. She has been a substitute in our building before taking this full-time spot. In second grade, we welcome Mrs. Fuga, Mrs. Croft, one of our substitutes, spending this year teaching fourth grade science. And? And language arts. Ms. Kretschmann joined us as a fifth grade teacher and Miss and Miss and Miss and Mrs. Clark, our after school care teacher, join our middle school team. We also welcome Mrs. Felak as our new school principal. Back to you, Nate. Thanks, Sarah. We are blessed to have these new additions to our school. Academics have always been important to us at Queen of Angels, and this year was no exception. We interviewed teachers and students about some of the amazing projects they worked to complete this year. Now joining us are Sully Muesli and Ainsley Stickle to tell us about just a few of the fantastic projects the kids have completed throughout the school year. Our second graders made their first Holy Communion this year. As they learned about the sacred sacrament, they decorated plates to commemorate this special occasion. They continue the tradition of May crowning on Mass on May 27th. The third graders participated in the Animal Fair. They worked hard to research, write a report, create a trifold board, make artwork, and present their information to the school. We are all so proud of them. The fourth graders continued the tradition of the Museum of Famous People. They did an amazing job researching a person creating a timeline and writing a report, and dressing in a costume to introduce us to the person. We all enjoyed watching and learning. In fifth grade, we did a passion project. As we learned about a special topic of interest, we were able to choose the topic, conduct research, and present the information to our classmates. We had a choice of what we researched and how we presented it. It was a lot of fun, and we learned about a lot of different topics. The middle schoolers participated in the science fair again this year. Everyone had completed a project for the school competition. We had students who competed in the Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Science Regional and State Competitions, as well as the Pittsburgh Regional Science and Engineering Fair. A few of our students are going to compete in the Broadcom Masters, a national competition. Back to you, Nate. Wow, our students have done some impressive things this year. These projects only begin to scratch the surface of the amazing things they've learned. 
In addition to the academic learning that has taken place, the students have also had to overcome the obstacle of learning to play in different ways. These kids had to approach social distancing and the lack of shared supplies with creativity and imagination. Lucy Cunningham and Anthony Longo are here to report on the ways preschool, kindergarten, and first grade classes adapted to the ways to play. In preschool, the kids are social distanced in the classroom by using yoga mats as their individual areas. They've learned to play games that don't involve touch, but they still allow to play together. Bingo and freeze dance have been class favorites along with this game called Punchinella. In this game, the students gather in a circle and one person is it. The person does a motion that the rest of the group has to imitate. They take turns being it and they share a lot of laughs along the way. The kindergarten students have been very adaptable this year as they found new ways to play inside and outside of the classroom. Inside, the students have individual recess bags that were supplied to each class by the PTA. These were very helpful on winter months and rainy days. The kindergartners enjoyed a lot of time outside this year, even playing in the snow. When the kids go outside, they each have their own ball and sidewalk chalk. They, they enjoy racing games and are always wary of smile. The first graders enjoyed learning classic games like Simon Says and Freeze Dance. And going on scavenger hunts, they created their own games and found ways to have fun every day this year. We've also noticed kids playing games in the hallway using the footprints to help them social distance as they play. What a great use of space. Thank you, Anthony and Lucy. As you can see, we at Queen of Angels have overcome the challenges of the unusual year, as we have made the most of the situation. Yes, we have managed to find the positives as we've gone along and had a very successful school year. Before we sign off, we wanted to give a special shout out to Mrs. Sandy, Miss C, and Mrs. Fidazza. We're very appreciative of everything you've done for us over the years. We wish you the best of luck on your retirement. Congratulations to everyone and happy summer!